Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Happy day after Thanksgiving. How are you guys? Are you full? I'm literally still full from yesterday. And I even worked out for an hour and a half yesterday morning at Jazzercise. Intense workout. I burned 1,100 calories. And I am still full. And I didn't even eat that much yesterday. Which is always a good thing when you're back on track the next day. So my Thanksgiving was wonderful. My mom and I did a little bit of shopping uh, last evening at Kohl's. It was so fun. It's kind of our tradition. Her and I go for a little bit. Such a fabulous holiday. I love Thanksgiving. There are so many things I'm thankful for. And one of them is, of course, you guys. One of the top ones is you guys. Thankful for WW, my family. It was just overall a fabulous day. But I am back on track today. So I am outside of WW. I am not weighing in. I actually weighed in on Wednesday and I'm going to insert that clip here at the end, like traditional for my weigh in. So I'm just going to the workshop to listen to the topic, get some re-motivation to get right back on track after the holiday. And it is time for Christmas, friends. It is time to get into the Christmas spirit. So this is a good time to rejuvenate, get re-energized, and recommitted to your program. So I'm going to head into the WW workshop. I'll be back to share what we discussed and, of course, my way in. So just stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. I am out of my WW workshop, and I am excited to share this week's topic with you. Of course, once again, it comes at the absolutely perfect time after the Thanksgiving holiday, and that is some tips and tricks on how to bounce back after an indulgence, after a holiday, after going above and beyond your points for the day. What are some tips and tricks to get right back on track? So the first tip is to kind of tune into those cues where maybe you've started off really good during the day, you commit. So today I am committed to tracking all of my food. I am back on track today after the holiday yesterday. I might track my breakfast, my lunch, but when it gets to the afternoon or dinner, I just go, eh, I just, I'm not gonna finish tracking the rest of the day. So tune into those cues when your mind starts telling you to stop doing the things that you know that you should be doing to be successful on your program. And really be mindful and aware when those thoughts enter your mind so that you can hurry up and flip them over and switch them to a better mindset for your weight loss journey. Instead of going, eh, I'm just not gonna track my dinner, or I know the points, or I already blew it, go ahead and just start over at the next meal and track your dinner. Tune into the thoughts that enter your mind that can sabotage getting back on track and getting success on the scale during your journey. Number two is get specific. So when those thoughts enter your mind, remind yourself of why you need to do this. Maybe you're trying to earn wellness wins. So tracking your lunch or dinner is going to get you those wellness wins that you really, really want. Just take some time to think about the benefit of doing the exact thing that your mind is telling you not to do. We may not have tracked yesterday on Thanksgiving, but it's a new day and we need to track all of our meals and get back on track so that when we weigh in next week, we actually see a loss on the scale. You might even want to set an alarm on your phone that reminds you to track at all of your meals. That's something that I've actually done in the past. When I find myself struggling to track all of my meals, I set an alarm on my phone right before my typical lunch time that reminds me to track my lunch. Or maybe I have a snack every day at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone that's going to remind me right before 3 p.m. to track my snack. Until you get back into the habit of that or until it just becomes something that you automatically do, setting an alarm or a cue or a reminder to track your food is essential. And lastly, just pick something that's doable for you. If setting an alarm on your phone just isn't doable for you, then don't worry about it. Don't set the alarm on your phone. Write it down. Maybe take a photo of the wellness win that you're trying to earn. Make it the screensaver on your phone. Even better, make the WW app where you track your food the screensaver on your phone. We are on our phones constantly. And if there is a constant visual reminder of what we need to do, such as the screensaver on our phone, that will remind us to track our food. And we all know that one of the key components of getting back to our program is to track our food. There is no better way to stay on program and lose weight than to track, track, 
track it like it's hot is what I always say. So definitely do whatever is something that you're going to stick with, something that's going to remind you and something that is doable for you to make sure that you're tracking and getting right back on track after the holiday. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my clip from Wednesday when I weighed in at WW to give you my weigh-in for the week and then we'll come back and we'll talk about that weigh-in and what plans and goals are for the upcoming week. Good morning, guys. It is actually Wednesday. I'm gonna just insert this little clip at the weigh-in portion of today's video. But it is Wednesday morning, and I decided that I was gonna go ahead and take the plunge and weigh in today because one, I don't wanna weigh in after Thanksgiving because I'll be using my weekly points on Thanksgiving, and I don't want that stress of having to weigh in after a Thanksgiving dinner because it probably isn't gonna look pretty the day after technically a splurge type of a day. So I decided that I would weigh in today Wednesday, which was kind of a hard decision because it's not even a week. It's shy, two days shy of a week for me, but I thought it would be better than weighing in the day after Thanksgiving. So I just left the workshop. I weighed in and I am extremely happy to report that I am down two pounds. So I lost two pounds between Friday and Wednesday really proud of myself. I even had a couple of high point days in there. So thrilled about that. So I lost the pound that I had gained last week plus an additional pound. And again, just in a few days. So hallelujah for that. So that is my way in for the week. And also I wanted to let you guys know that next week is going to be a little bit different for me as well because I'm actually heading over to Seattle on Thursday to uh, go to a class for real estate. I'm going to get certified to teach a first time home buyers class. So I'll actually be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I will be weighing in next Wednesday as well, but you guys will see the video on Friday. It'll go up on Friday. So a couple Wednesday weigh-ins for the next couple weeks. So that was my weigh-in for Wednesday. and. On another note, I hope you guys had a fabulous Thanksgiving because when you see this video Friday, Thanksgiving would have happened. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. So as you can see, I lost two pounds when I weighed in on Wednesday. I was so excited about that because that was a short week for me, Friday to Wednesday, and I still was able to lose two pounds. And again, I did not weigh in today because A, I just weighed in Wednesday, and B, I'm not weighing in after Thanksgiving. So I did go to the workshop though, which is a huge step. So if you guys have a workshop after the holiday, even if you totally blew Thanksgiving, go to your workshop. That is a great way to hit the reset button and restart a new successful week for you. So my plan for this week is I'm going to be working out or going to Jazzercise at least three times. I'm shooting for four to five times. I am going to track everything that goes into my mouth every single day except for Saturday. That is the day that I use my weeklies. My week started over today. So Saturday I will have a fresh set of weeklies to use or today that I'm gonna use on Saturday. My husband and I are going to a little snow day, carriage ride, fun day up at Green Bluff, which is a really fun place here where I live where it's all Christmas everything. So we're going to that tomorrow and then I'm going to a home decor swap with one of my clients from real estate that I sold a house to and we've just become really good friends. So I'm going to that. So that allows me the opportunity to indulge a little bit tomorrow, but back on track today, back on track Sunday, and I'm going to do the reminder on my phone so that I don't forget to track all of my meals. You can also pre-track your day, you guys. That's a good way to do it too. It does help you kind of stick to what you tracked, and then of course you don't have to worry about remembering to track because you've pre-tracked it. So those are my goals for the upcoming week. I wanna hear how was your Thanksgiving? Did you track your food? Did you just indulge and enjoy the day with your friends and family? And don't forget, you guys, Thanksgiving's a holiday. Not a holla week, not a holla month, it's a holla day. So back on track today, my friends, and we should see some good results on the scale at our next weigh-in. So make sure that you let me know how your Thanksgiving was, how your week went when you hopped on the scale. I would love it if you're new, if you would take a moment and just subscribe so that you can be part of my YouTube community. It is such a wonderful place to be. And of course, hit the notification bell and thumbs up this video and leave your comments. Lots of to-dos for you today. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to this weigh-in video after the Thanksgiving holiday. Happy holidays. It is time, my friends, to start Christmas and to start Vlogmas. I will be uploading every day in the month of December as part of Vlogmas. I also wanted to let you know that I am going to have a couple of videos coming out towards the end of December 
one of them is going to tell you what my plans are for my channel moving forward into 2020. So don't miss that video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays, my friends. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.